What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to not really a tutorial but an update because the Google input output convention was placed today. Uh, they just released a new IDE that's coming out that's going to be pretty sweet. So I thought I'd give an update and try and install it and hopefully walk through some of the basics uh, because probably most of my tutorials will be using this new IDE called Android Studio by IntelliJ. Uh, they got a pretty good ID already, so this one's going to be freaking fantastic. So just to mention, I'm probably not going to use Eclipse for most of my future Android tutorials because this is an Android-specific ID, um, so it's going to be really cool. Um, but I do have a few Eclipse tutorials in the bank that I haven't released yet, so you'll probably be seeing those come out, and then I'll start using this new IDE. So right now I'm downloading it. Uh, I'll put the download link within the description of the YouTube video or the blog post if I make a blog post for this. And uh, you can download it there. That's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I'm about halfway done. Um, but this input output convention is awesome. Google has a ton of cool stuff coming out uh, like the game uh, API, the gaming API, uh, which will allow you to do networking type games a lot easier. So if you have multiplayer, um, you can connect to your friends, uh, whether they're in your G plus circle or not. You can connect them together and play in one game, which is pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of cool stuff coming out, but this is the one I'm excited about this new IDE um, because once you develop your layouts you can see how it's gonna look on a variety of different devices as you can kinda see within this picture um, it will automatically update your layouts on whether it be a tablet or a phone or a Galaxy 3 or whatever and so you can kinda see how it will look once you launch your application so you don't have to boot it up every time you don't have to open up your emulator to test it out which is kinda of time consuming so anyways this is really cool alright getting pretty excited what come on alright let's get down to business let's check this out I've heard like IntelliJ's like other ID was pretty sweet as well um, a lot of people have been switching over to that lately instead of Eclipse so hopefully this is gonna be awesome okay whatever nice logo looks a lot better than Eclipse's little world thing for whatever that is that purple I don't know what's doing there that's kinda crazy alright alright cool let's try a new project here and I'm guessing we could probably import an old project as well but let's just test this out alright kinda like the same setup as previously and let's change this to not bring back okay pretty similar looks like kinda setting up the icon stuff I'm sure we could set that up later blank yeah it looks looks almost the same so far but it is brand spanking new. Um, there's even a caution on the download page saying it's early preview. It's probably going to be messed up. There's probably going to be bugs. Uh, if you get really pissed easily, don't download it until it's a stable version. So I might not cre create any tutorials with this IDE until it's stable. All right, cool. Yeah, it looks like you can migrate over from Eclipse. All you got to do is do a file export. Pretty self-explanatory here. It's like four steps, well, eight steps total. So don't really need to make a tutorial on it. We'll probably start learning this IDE pretty quickly. I'm sure other people will be helping me out and giving me like hotkey shortcuts and stuff uh, to make development a lot quicker. But Okay, so it looks like uh, the structure is kind of the same. It's got your external libraries. You got your two main folders, your Java one and your resource folder. Let's try that layout thing. I want to check that out. Oh yeah, this is a new, another cool thing. Um, if, once I figure out how to lay out all these like uh, different devices or something, you can also check out like certain settings for different... Uh, languages and stuff like as you can see here uh, when you're developing for a certain country or something it's I don't know 
It looked pretty sweet, but whatever. Oh, here we go. Okay, obviously I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, text. Okay. So it looks like there's either a few errors or something's going on here. So yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, so here's something kind of cool. Like, you know your standard layout here? Um, it looks as if we wrote out our text because again you know if I hit control 1 and then within my values we have that strings remember there's like a string called the hello or something right here hello world and the IDE will actually display what that text is instead of our reference here um, such as at string hello world but there's a lot of cool little features like that as well um, and obviously it's work in progress, but they, they're going to come out with a lot of cool stuff. So we probably will be switching over to this IDE. Again, it's called Android Studio. Just came out today, guys. So, so if you guys have some free time, go ahead and play around with it. Again, the download link is in the description. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.